career planning. Career planning is learning about yourself and the job market and then making choices based on what you have learned. Decide what type of job you want, determine the skills you need, discover ways to get those skills. Most people want more than just a job. Career planning is the key of getting what you want from work for years to come. Career planning gives you a better chance to get what you want from life. Careful planning helps you focus on jobs that are right for you. Lasting skills in evaluating yourself and your career opportunities. Career planning skills can be used throughout your life. Placement or career office. Many schools and colleges offer a full range of help, including skills and interest inventories, counselors, career libraries, workshops and seminars on resumes, interview skills, and other job-seeking skills. They may also maintain placement files and set up interviews. Librarians can be extremely helpful in locating the information you need. Some private or public agencies offer job testing, counseling, and list of potential employers. A part-time job can give you skills, career contacts, and an understanding of what certain jobs are really like. Working without pay lets you test job preferences and skills. It gives you the chance to gain valuable experience with different jobs and organizations. Depending on the program, these may provide work experience, college credits, contacts within a certain field, and salary. Consider your ideal work environment. What job characteristics do you most like or dislike? Examine your personality. Everyone has personal traits that affect career choices. Be honest about identifying yours. Recognize your skills and experience. Consider skills you may have gained and used in past jobs, volunteer work, hobbies, school, and social situations. Write out your own personal evaluations. List your values, preferred work environment, skills, interests, strengths, and weaknesses. Be specific. Use people as a resource. Talk to professors, co-workers, career counselors, friends, neighbors, relatives, and even previous employers. Set up informational interviews. One way to investigate a particular type of work is to interview people who are in your field of interest. Don't limit yourself. Try not to think in terms of a specific job title. Think in terms of your skills. I communicate ideas well, or I enjoy complicated tasks. You will find these skills useful in more than one job title. What type of organization do you want to work in? Your skills may be valuable to many types of organizations. What organizational style is best for you? Would you prefer a young company just getting on its feet or a more established organization? Do you like fast-paced, rapidly changing atmospheres, or slower, more, predictive, more predictable environments? Placement interviews. Many colleges and universities offer organizations the chance to recruit students. If you're interested in federal or state employment, these can assist in scheduling job interviews for openings. Many organizations participate in job fairs to help recruit employees. Although not every job is advertised, you may get valuable information and good leads from help wanted ads. Send out your resume. Most experts suggest making the cover letter and resume specific to the organization and job. 
Prepare for any interviews. Learn as much as you can about the organization before you arrive for the interview. Prepare questions to ask and be prepared to answer questions also. Use any personal contacts you have. If you know someone who is involved with the organization, ask if there is any advice he or she can give you. Follow up with a thank you letter. This is always in order after an interview. Accept help. You cannot find all the information you need by yourself. Let people help you. Keep at it. Career planning takes time and energy and people are rarely successful right away. Focus on transferable skills. Concentrate on building and promoting skills that can be used in a wide range of jobs. Example, speaking well, writing, meeting deadlines, work well alone, team player, etc. Keep up with your work. Your grades and references can show an employer your skills and character. Build a network of contacts. Keep in contact with people who can help you with your career plans. Seek references from past employers. Assess yourself and your skills thoroughly. Match your skills and preferences to specific types of work. Target specific jobs and organizations. Build the career you want. Listed is a career decision making quiz that will assist you in answering any career decision making choices that you have to choose from. Thank you for participating in this workshop. Do not forget to complete and turn in your academic enrichment summary. Please report to the Student Support Services to complete an academic enrichment summary or click on the link in the directions box on the workshop page and print one out or email it to dwalker at wallace.edu so that we may document your presentation. Thank you.